Well, river's down a little bit more today. We'll uh, see what we can find here. Huh. A few bits of pot here already. Uh, just playing. Just all plain. Looks like a bit more of that laptop I found the other week. Another the computer. Take that out of the way. And a little bit of green here. Looks like it there might be a little bit of sponge wear on a handle. And a bit of pipes down with heel on. I'm just playing again. Is that the base of a egg cup? Some bone, them bones. Well, let's go back down onto them other stones. It's uh, somewhat well worn and plain. Probably the top of a card bottle or something. And a little bit of willow. Oh no, it looks like seaweed pattern. Screw top insulator. I've not found one of this type before. Oh. Some blue and white on it. Don't know whether it's Asiatic or Rambling Rose, as they call it. And more blue and white. Just plain. Stone. Bit of Derby wear. A couple of chunks of gold. That looks like it might have some slip on it. 
or slip decorated. Chunk of glass, cob bottle with part of clever on water, mineral water, we should say there. There's another pot, and just plain. A chunk of glass. Same bit of twig on that one. Right. Look a bit of oh, blue and white down here. Oh, sponge wear. And a tooth I've just found. The base of a pot with just a bit of a, a flower on. And that's just plain. Plain. I think it's like yesterday, there's more planes here than Manchester Airport. Well, we'll just have a walk back up the waterline and see what there is. Chunk of line up. Looks like a screen on an iPad or something like that. Get a stripe, oh, transfer print. Bit of energetic. Heel of a boot loop, 
Horseshoe A&M. Right, Give him a pot. He's playing. Right, a few of the bits from down the river. Big chunk of uh, porcelain insulator with the screw on top. First one we found to them. We found a few other insulators, but not with a screw on top. Shame it's all bashed up, but bit of Derby, Lincolnware pottery, as they call this brown stuff, with embossing on all, all sorts of different designs on all sorts of storage containers. A nice little pot. It's a shame it's broken, but I always use it to clean it up and put some of it, stand some of it in there. Chunk of red pottery, red clay with a slip type decoration on it. A bit of nice pot with that. No glaze on outside, just just on inside at rim. Some roller thing that I found down there. Well it's plastic or bacon like that. Threaded at both ends, I haven't been able to undo them. But I uh, have no idea what that's off. Bit of a <coughs> chunky handle, various sorts of pottery, a bit of transfer wear, what looks like it may be sponge wear. Bits of Asiatic, a seaweed type pattern. It's got like a burn mark on there. I'll get that off. And some more, what I think, maybe sponge wear. Edge of a plate, rounded edge there. Another Blue and white, oh, this light's too bright on it. Turn it down a touch. Oh. Bit of dough ball and the heel the, with a shoe iron off a, I would say, a clog but work boot. Interesting all the layers of leather, big old shoe iron on there. That when people find these on their own, think they're sh horseshoes, but uh, as you can see, that's definitely not come off a horse. Various bits of other pottery there. Base of an egg cup, I should think. And a little bit of pipe with just a bit of the heel on and the ball and all the markings on. Base of some pot with a bit of a flower on there. Probably might just cut that out to use that bit. And a bit with a twig on. Some Big old tooth there. There's some roots on that one. Don't like to get bitten by that, whatever it was. Probably a cattle. Don't think it's sheep. But and a nice big blue flower. It's a shame it's been near some iron and it's leached and the rust has leached into on it 
I don't know what to do with that. It's too big to go in one of the mounts I've got. I might just end up cleaning it, leveling the back out a little bit. I stick one or two magnets on and just use it as a big, big fridge magnet on the do fridge door. Looks nice though. Chunk of Georgian wired glass. This is from about early 20s upwards and I still use it now because when I moved into this house which was built in the mid 70s both the front and back door had a huge panel of this in uh, and a fork as you do and the cod well I think it's a cod bottle, I've even still got a, a stone still wedged in it, I haven't bothered knocking it out I think it's cod because you can just make out where the rubber ceiling ring that the marble went up against was underneath uh, and big thick piece of probably cod bottle, it might even be off the same bottle because they were found fairly close together but I mean, look at the thickness of that glass there. It's got particle of raw and water, which I take as the water works. But it's also very similar to this one that the daughter and boyfriend found. Amos and Kundal Borough Mineral Water Works Clitheroe. So this is a, probably a later bottle. And this is the earlier cod bottle. I mean, for the thickness of that glass compared with that. I've ground the top down on there a bit, just to get it all broken, so I've just cleaned it up a little bit. And a chunk of wiring, probably off that laptop that I found there before. Uh, or another computer, a radio, or something like that. But it'll go in the bin. Well, that's all the bits on this lot. There's this that I forgot to put in the, the roundup. A broken iPad or small computer screen. I just tripped over it at garage, so I thought I'd just add it on end. Always good to take stuff like this out at river.